my channel. So today we are sitting down and we are making this makeup look right here with a full face of half caked makeup. Have you heard of this brand? Because I feel like it's a smaller indie brand and it's been on my radar for a while to try out, but I've never tried anything from them. This is like a complete first impressions, had never tried them before and I was super, super excited. Spoiler alert. I really like how my makeup looks right now, like a lot. I have an eyeshadow palette, cream, bronzer, blush, highlight, mascara, and a lippy for you to try today. So essentially a full face of half cake makeup. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you are excited and you want to see this makeup look right here with a full face of half cake makeup, then let's go ahead and get started. So for eyeshadow today, they actually had two different palettes. I only picked up one. The one I picked up is the Your Eyes Only. It's a little bit more of a warm tone color story, which you guys know. I'm a little bit more of a cool tone lover, and they did actually have a more cool toned option. I'll pop up a picture here for you guys to see. I don't exactly remember the name of it, but it had a little bit more of those like grungy, cool tone sort of shades, and I almost got this one. I, oh, I was this close. But then at the last second, I was like, Emily, try something new, get the warm tone palette, try something new. You know what I mean? So this retails for $16, which I don't think is a bad deal considering you're getting nine pans of shadow. I am gonna go ahead and swatch these. I haven't, I haven't even touched them. Like I have no idea like what they feel like, what I'm getting my hands into. So let's go ahead and swatch them really quick. Okay, well, not the best swatches. However, this one right here we have is Disc Space. Then we have Set It Off, X Files. Next up we have OK Computer, Two On, I believe. AO Technology, Buffering, Payload is right here. And then last we have a Digital Get Down. So those are the swatches. They look very, very pretty. Those metallics look pretty intense and they all swatch pretty nicely. The mattes I had to build up a couple times, but I'm not really one to put too much like emphasis on swatches on the arm because it can be completely different on the eyes. I like to see the whole palette together like swatched out on my arm so I can figure out what kind of look I wanna do. Obviously we're gonna be doing a very neutral, probably a little bit more on the simple side look because this is a very neutral palette. But upon first impressions on the swatches, I was impressed and I liked them. So we're gonna start off right here with disc space. I don't really understand like the theme to the shadow names. like. I guess this is supposed to be like a disc. It felt like your eyes only. Like maybe this is like a love sort of thing. You know how like back in the day, I'm probably dating myself, but back in the day you would make like CDs for your, uh, you know, the people you had crushes on and be like, I made this for you. So like maybe that's what that's about. I really don't fully understand the theme, but that's okay. <laughs> so there is a little bit of kick up in the pan, but nothing too terrible. This is going to be a very light tan shade. It won't show up. Yeah, it's not showing up too, too much. It's pretty much the same color as my paint pot, but. Okay, so we're gonna go to another shade because that one's like not showing up. I'm gonna go down here to buffering and then we'll probably end up going over here to AO Technology. I've heard really good things about this brand, more so about their cream products that I will get into in a little bit and less about their eyeshadows. But I was like, if you're gonna do a full face of half caked makeup, you gotta like, do it all, Emily, and like get the eyeshadows as well. And because they were so affordable, well, affordable, I say that in air quotes because, you know, affordability is subjective to everyone, but I didn't think $16 was that bad. My whole order was $62 and I got free shipping. And I got pretty much a full face, so I was excited about that. So that was all buffering. We are gonna go in with a smaller brush now and move on to the AO technology. So I wanted to try this brand because they are an indie brand that's made by like two sisters down in Florida, which I just think is really cool that they like started this brand and they've like built it up. They have quite a following on Instagram. I think they have like 170,000 followers. So, you know, I feel like they're growing and I think that that is cool. And I wanted to support them. Okay, so this shade isn't very deep and dark and it's actually the darkest shade in, darkest matte in the palette. Uh, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. I actually think I'm gonna just switch up what I was gonna do a tiny bit and end up putting this dark shimmer on the outer portion. I was just gonna leave it matte, but it's not getting as deep and dark as I would have liked. And I feel like a little bit like, I kind of feel like all of those browns look the same on my eye. Like there's not too much variation. I mean, I guess there's not really too much variation in the shades either. Like they kind of all, you know, are very similar, but 
on the eye, they like really, really look similar. So we're gonna take my glitter primer, put it all over my eye, and then I figured we're gonna kind of do a little bit of like an ombre effect between this shimmer, this shimmer, and then this shimmer. I'm gonna put like the lightest one on the inner portion, this in the middle, and that on the outer portion and kind of do like a ombre. So far I was like impressed with those mattes. They like blended out fine and they didn't get patchy or anything. I just didn't love how uh, they kind of all look the same. Ooh, those shimmers are pretty though. That's pretty. I like how reflective that is. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up a shimmer if I'm being honest. They're, I feel like, pretty simple to formulate. A lot of companies and palettes have good shimmers, but these are really pretty. I'm really, I'm really liking these. And I didn't seem to have like too, too much a fallout, maybe a little bit on the outer edge with the deepest, darkest shimmer, but for the most part, uh, not too much fallout, which I was, ex I'm excited about that. So now I'm gonna go back to the AO Technology, the darkest one right here. And we're just gonna put that into the crease. I'm gonna deepen this crease a little bit. I mean, it's not gonna get that deep, but that's okay. And then go back in with disc space. Really buff it out. Okay, I like that. I feel like I used every single shade except for these two cranberry shades and then this one up here, but I'm gonna try to use that as an inner corner highlight. So for this eye look, I use, I'm going to end up using seven out of the nine. So I feel good about that. And I like this eye look, I think it's pretty. Could I have achieved this with a ton of other eyeshadow palettes that I already own? Yeah, yes I could. But the quality was there, the mattes blended nicely. They didn't get patchy. The shimmers are nice and pretty, not a ton of fallout. So, so far I'm, impressed by this little palette. I'm gonna go do the other eye. Now I'll probably end up doing a primer, foundation, concealer, and then I'll come back on because the next couple of things we have are cream products and it's a bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I will go do that and be right back. You know what I was just thinking as I was blending in my concealer? I wonder why they came out with a powder eyeshadow palette instead of like cream singles and I say that because if you know anything about half cake makeup they are really known for their cream products which I'm about to show you um that's like what they first launched with I'm pretty sure they first launched with like cream blushes that went pretty wild and then they have like cream bronzers cream highlights they do have powder blushes but I don't know I feel like they're m mostly known for their cream so I'm wondering like Maybe powder, like eyeshadows are easier to formulate. I don't really know. But anyways, for the rest of my face, uh, I just put on my Catrice Aquafresh Hydro Primer. For foundation, I use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is only my second time using this. I'm trying it out, guys. I just recently purchased it in the, the Sephora sale. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's definitely not the right match. Like, we're just going to ignore that. We're just going to ignore this, okay? I tried to blend it down make it match, and it just doesn't. It's a shade Mont Blanc for reference. And then for concealer, I use my Shiseido like Synchro Self Refreshing Skin Concealer. I have the shade 101 Fair. I'm saying 103, 101 Fair. Okay, this is like the really cute part of their brand. Their cream blushes, bronzers, and highlights are so cute. So this is like the outer packaging of them. This is the uh, bronzer and this is the blush. And then the highlight has the same outer packaging as the blush. So not only is like the boxes so stinking cute, but they come in these little heart packagings. Stop it. That is adorable. So this is the cream bronzer. This is in the shade Morning View. This is their cheek and lip tint. So you hypothetically can use this on your cheeks and your lips. I don't know about that. And I also did purchase one of their liquid lipsticks. So I'm not gonna use any of this on my lips, but I just think this is adorable. Then we have their blush, which this is in the shade Disco Lemonade. Again, so stinking cute. I will say I'm a little disappointed with them because they sent me the wrong blush shade and I've reached out to them multiple times in multiple avenues. Like I emailed their customer service email that's on like the email you get uh, that your order is on um, twice and I haven't gotten a response. I DM them on Instagram and I haven't gotten a response, which that one I'm okay with because it probably went in their like message requests. Um, so that's fine. But like I emailed their customer service email twice and I haven't gotten any response back and it's been almost a week. So like, I'm not upset that they sent me the wrong blush shade because like that happens, you know, I understand that part. I'm upset that it's been like a week and I haven't heard anything back. So I'll let you know, I guess I'll update the description box if they end up emailing 
emailing me back and if I get it resolved um, because the blush shade I wanted was like really really cute and this one's like cute too this is disco lemonade but it's just like really bright pink which is not my jam I, I forget the shade name that I had ordered um, but it was a lot more of like a nudie brownie blush that's just a lot more of my alley so we're gonna try this one today because it's the one I have but I wanted to let you know about that that I was definitely bummed uh, so that is the blush and then the highlight comes in the same component as the blush the pink heart and this is sugar cookie and this is their highlight so let me do swatches Ooh, okay so when I'm putting my hand on it it's very stiff but as you like keep rubbing it definitely becomes a little bit more emollient um, but that is like way that's way stiffer than I expected it to be not that it's not creamy, but like, even when I'm like gliding along my hand, I don't know, it doesn't feel like super creamy. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so here we have Morning View, Disco Lemonade, and then Sugar Cookie, if you can see. Upon these swatches, I hope I like this. It's way more emollient and like slippy than I was expecting it to be. And then Sugar Cookie just looks like it's gonna give my face like a just a gleam and glow. There's not really a shade behind it, like really much pigmentation. Um, so I'm a little nervous. I hope I like it. I don't know. We'll see. My hesitation is that I don't really like when things are too sticky on my face. That's why even when my skin is a little bit drier, I pretty much always set it down with powder because I just don't like the feeling of an unset sticky face. And I just kind of like feel like these might be a little sticky. So we're going to go in with Morning View. Just going to dab my brush right in. I'm using my e.l.f. 105 brush. It's like their airbrush stipple brush, I believe. Always the brush that I use with cream products. I'm going to tap it off on my hand, get the excess off because I don't want it to be too intense. And we're just going to start. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Yeah, I love that bronzer shade. That is a great shade for my skin. They do have a pretty decent shade range as well. I probably should have done more research before I started this video. I can't remember how many bronzer and blush shades they have, but I know they have like quite a few. So hopefully no matter what your skin tone is, you can find a blush and a bronzer that will match and highlight. I know they have a quite a few of the highlights as well. And they have these highlights, but they also have like stick highlights. So this is blending out really nicely. And it doesn't seem to be like lifting up the foundation or anything underneath, which I appreciate. Sometimes cream products can do that. Okay, though so that was super easy. That like blended out very quickly. I love this tone of bronzer on me. I think it's beautiful. I love how it's a little bit more on the neutral side. It's not too like bronzery, too orangey, too warm, if that makes sense. It's a little bit more neutral, but it is still bronzy. It's not too cool tone to where it's contoury, but like it's perfect, I feel like, for my skin tone. I, I'm really enjoying this and it, yeah, I definitely feel sticky. Like I feel like I, this is gonna be something that I would want to set down. I'm loving that and that was so easy to blend out. All right, next up we have the blush. Again, this is in the shade Disco Lemonade. We're going to do the exact same thing. Put my brush in there. Oh, yeah, this is a bright shade. This is why I didn't order this shade because I don't wear bright pink blushes like this. Hmm. Well, okay, minus the shade, it's blending out very nicely and it's not too pigmented, which is nice. I mean, I did obviously tap off the excess, but um, so that's nice. That's just blending out. I'm just like tapping it in very effortlessly. And it looks pretty on the cheeks. Like it has a nice glow to it. It blended into that bronzer very easily as well. That was like so easy, holy moly. I just like tapped that blush out in 30 seconds. It's done and it's blended and it looks good. Pretty impressed by that one. And then lastly, we have the highlight. This is in the shade Sugar Cookie. I'm like really perplexed by this because I thought it was gonna have a little bit of a base to it. Like it looks like it's gonna have a champagne-y sort of shade, but I don't think it really, I mean, I guess it does a tiny bit, but I feel like this is just gonna be like gloss on my face, which mm, I don't know. Let's try that. I'm gonna do it with my finger. Just try it that way and see how that looks. Hopefully it doesn't lift my foundation. I don't see too, too much difference like on my forehead right there. I guess I see a little something, but like it's all the way down here as well, which I didn't put, I mean, you guys just saw me, I didn't put a highlight down there. So that's just the shine of like the products in general and I haven't set my face. So like, I don't really know. I guess, oh, I guess it's building up. I was like, I don't really know if this is doing much. 
Yeah, it's building up a little bit. I definitely can see it there. That's pretty. It's just not typically like the type of um, highlight I usually go for. I am going to try my sponge on the other side just to see. So I got some, well, you can't tell, but I got some on my sponge there. And we're just going to tap it in. So it's definitely a little bit more like va va voom on this side with my finger. And this side's a little bit more subdued. But I like both. I am going to build it up on this side. Make it even. So this is definitely my least favorite of the three. <laughs> I also wanted to tell you that I got this in like a trio pack. You get to choose your shades, which is really nice. Sometimes when companies like bundle things together, they just bundle certain shades and that's it. But for this, you got to pick which shades you wanted, which I thought was really nice. All three of these together were only $22, which I feel like is a really good deal. I was putting them in separately and then I realized, oh, they have a bundle that's 1 million percent going to save me money. And I feel like for a bronzer, blush and highlight for 22 bucks, I was pumped about that. So the bronzer, I'm loving. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I think it blended out wonderfully. I hope it doesn't fade. I feel like, is it, is it disappearing? Is it disappearing? I don't know. No, you can still see it. It's not disappearing, right? I, I'm crazy. I'm making that up in my mind, right? So the bronzer, I love. The blush, I enjoyed the like application process of it and the way it blended out very easily. This shade isn't bad. Like, it's not bad. It's not too, too bright and bold. It's pretty. Um, It's just not the shade I ordered. So... Other than that, like, I really like this. I think that's great. And then the uh, highlight, it's my least favorite of the three for sure. It's just kind of, like, glossy, which I don't know if I love that because I feel like it's just going to be, like, my hair is, like, getting stuck in it. It's just going to be really sticky, which, you know, it's cream products. You, they're going to be sticky anyways, but I don't love that. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and powder a little bit. I'm going to powder my T-zone and under my eyes because I just, I can't not. I'm also going to do brows. And then we will come back on because we have mascara and a lippy and we're going to finish the eyes and then we will be done. So be right back. Not a good brow day. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Don't look at them too closely. Thanks. Just hit my face. I use my number seven lift and luminate powder. I just did my T-zone under my eyes and a little bit down here. And then for my brows, I use my Benefit Precisely My Brow and my Ilia um, Essential Brow Natural Volumizing Brow Gel. So we're going to finish up the eyes next and we are going to do a simple lower lash line like always. I never do anything crazy on my lower lash line. I just can't. Okay. I can't be bothered. So we're going to take buffering right here and buff that on my lower lash line. And then we're going to take this set it off shade up here. I hope this isn't too dark. And we're going to put that as an inner corner highlight. Um, no, actually that works. It's a little, little tiny bit dark, but for the most part, that works, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I like that shade. Holy moly, that is stunning. That's like super reflective. I'm here for that. We're also gonna pop that on the brow bone. I'm putting the shade all over my lip the next time I use this palette because this is beautiful. Holy moly. Next up for our mascara, we have their Totally Tubular. This reminds me of Saved by the Bell. This reminds me of Saved by the Bell so much. Did you ever watch Saved by the Bell? I did with my sister. She was seven years older than me. So a lot of the things that were like, I don't know, maybe considered a little bit too old for my time frame, I liked and watched and did and listened to because of my sister. And now I got that theme song in my head. Anyways, this is their totally, totally tubular mascara. And this is the ultimate. So this was $12, which again, I thought was a pretty good deal for a mascara. They have three different kinds of mascaras. They have the ultimate and two other kinds that I don't know. I'm so sorry. But this one I picked because, how cute is this? I love this lavender packaging. I picked this one because of the wand. It looks like the type of spiky wand that I typically like. There's three different kinds. So like the ultimate, I think it's supposed to do both like lengthening and lifting and volumizing, I think. And then they have one with a little bit fluffier of a wand that I think is supposed to volumize. And then they have one with like that tapered sort of wand that um, tubing mascaras usually have. And I think that's just for lengthening. So it's like one for volumizing, one for lengthening, one that does both. And I'm pretty sure this is the one, just got that in my hair. I'm pretty sure this is the one that does both because your girl wants length and volume and separation and not clumping. I asked for a lot from a mascara. So hopefully this $12 mascara can provide it for me. We shall see. Is this a tubing mascara? I'm going to guess yes, considering it's called totally tubular. I'm not going to lie. I have not had the best experience with tubing mascaras in the past. A lot of the times they seem to get clumpy on me. I've tried the Thrive Cosmetics. 
to be mascara. Um, did not like that. The Sky High by Maybelline. I'm pretty sure that's a tubing mascara. I don't love that one either. So we shall see. But again, this is that more spiky type of wand that I like that like Tarte Maneater has. Um, Benefit Roller Liner, Roller Lash has. So let's see. Also with tubing mascaras, you really can't go in after the fact and add a second layer, at least in my experience. So I'm gonna try to really coat my lashes on this first layer and see what we can get. I like this wand, it's spiky, but it's not hurting. Like some spiky wands are like too spiky and they hurt. Okay, pretty decent, I feel like. I feel like that definitely made them look longer and they're not clumping, which is nice. I wouldn't say that they look necessarily more voluminous or full, but I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Let's do the other eye. <sighs> Almost poked my eye out. I do feel like I used the mascara on the wand pretty quickly. I have to dip back in quite a few times. Not the end of the world, but just something to note. But I'm actually really liking how this looks. I think it looks really pretty on my lashes. I am going to try to go in on the other side and build it up just to see. Hopefully I don't regret this. <laughs> it doesn't get like super clumpy. And I don't think that really did much. You can see it's definitely like wild and clumpy on the brush though. As long as it's not clumpy on my lashes, I don't care about that. It's a very dry formula also. So I want to make sure um, you know that if you do not like a dry sort of formula, this would not be the one for you because it definitely is a little bit drier. I personally tend to like drier mascaras because I feel like they clump on me less and I feel like this one is not clumping on me. So, so far, I'm actually like really impressed by that. I feel like my lashes look really nice and long and curled. Hopefully they stay curled. Hopefully this doesn't flake down on me. I usually don't struggle with like mascaras flaking on me. So hopefully it doesn't do that and hopefully it holds the curl and all of that. And I also hope it's not super hard to remove tonight. I will try to remember to put down in the description box how this wore throughout the day and, um, how it removed if it was like a pain in the bootay to get off because if it is i won't use it all right last but certainly not least we have one of their lip fondants so this is their um liquid lips that was weird i just said that weird anyways um i got distracted because i wanted to make sure i let you know that this brand is also vegan and cruelty free i never said that before so i saw the vegan approved on there and i got distracted anyways it's vegan and cruelty free which i think is pretty cool these are their liquid lipsticks i ended up getting the shade fangirl which looks like which okay first of all how adorable is this packaging i just think that's so stinking cute and it looks like this this looks like a really nice nudie sort of shade Ooh, yeah I feel like I'm definitely gonna like that shade for sure. I've heard good things about this liquid lipstick. One of my friends on Instagram loves them and she has like all the shades. So I'm hoping I like the formula. It's not too drying or anything. I am gonna put a lip liner on. I'm gonna go ahead and use ColourPop O oh Snap, right? Yeah, um, cause I feel like that looks like a really good shade match. We're just gonna outline my lips. We're not gonna color it in. And then we're gonna go in with the lip fondant. I like the applicator, it's like nice and curved so it's gonna like hug your lips, I'm down for that. That's like a perfect match to the lip liner, holy moly. Okay, first of all, I love this shade. I think it is so pretty. Again, it's in the shade Fangirl. I love how it's like nudie, but has a little bit of like a berry sort of tone but still a little bit brown toned i'm really enjoying this this was a very thin formula as well it doesn't feel like too thick on the lips it is pretty sticky if you can see my lips sticking together so that's something to know it is pretty sticky i don't know if that'll go away because it, it is fully dried down let's see if it's transfer proof yeah so pretty transfer proof uh which is nice i mean it's a liquid lipstick i would expect that it does like feel I, I can feel it on my lips, I want to say. Like, it's definitely not, like, one of those that's, like, super lightweight and airy and you can't even feel it. Like, it's a liquid lipstick, you can feel it. But it doesn't feel drying at all, which is nice. Um, definitely emphasizes the lines on my lips. Again, most liquid lipsticks do. So far, I do like this, though. I'm, I'm impressed by the formulation. I love the shade. It doesn't feel too drying or anything, so hopefully it wears well. And that was it, you guys. That was my full face of half cake to makeup. I feel like I liked pretty much everything that I tried out. I think the eyeshadow palette is 
super beautiful. It blended in nicely. The shimmers are very impactful. I'm excited to keep playing with it. Is it a pretty simple, plain, neutral palette that a lot of us probably already own? These shades, these tones? Yeah. Yeah, I already own these. I definitely do. However, I'm excited to have this in my collection. The packaging is cute and I really liked it. The bronzer, loved this. Love this. I think it's such a good tone on me. It blended in so easily. So pretty. The blush, again, liked it. It blended in nicely. Um, just the tone is a little too bright for me, but it looks pretty. I'm actually like, I'm not mad about this shade. I, it's just not the one I ordered. And then the highlight, I definitely, I don't love it. It's like, it's pretty, but I feel like it's like sticky. My hair is going to get caught in it. I don't know about that. The mascara, I'm actually really impressed with. I really like how my lashes look right now. Hopefully it wears well. And again, I really like this lippy as well. So I feel like for the most part, this was a winner. This brand was a winner minus their customer service. Hopefully that gets changed and hopefully I get some answers to that soon. Okay, I already have an update for you guys. Literally as soon as I was done filming this video, like I just got done filming two seconds ago. Just took my... Um, thumbnail picture for it I checked my email and I got an email from half caked they said so sorry my first email got caught in spam which I understand that happens um and they are sending me a replacement to be on the lookout for an updating tracking so they updated me they let me know they are rectifying the situation they are sending me the correct blush shade so I wanted to come on and let you guys know I'm super excited about that because I do like this blush formula um so I'm so excited to try the correct shade so when that comes in I'll probably use it in like a I don't know, some sort of get ready with me so you guys can see it. But I just wanted to update you guys in real, well, as real time as I could get it, that they uh, corrected the situation and they're sending me my new blush. So, okay, there's your update. Other than that, I feel like this was definitely a win. Let me know down below. Have you tried Half Cake Makeup? Have you heard of them? I feel like they're definitely a little bit smaller of a brand. They're an indie brand. Again, two sisters down in Florida run it. And I don't know, I just think it's cool. Let me know if you've heard about them. And if you have, have you tried them? Do you want to? Did I put them on your radar? All the details, I'm nosy, I wanna know. I love hearing from you guys down below. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much, you're awesome, I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.